Welcome to the shipyard. So yeah, career is kind of crap and it's frustrating. So I'm just going to build stuff until they fix it. Because really, the main thing that doesn't work is propulsion. I can't move anything. But it doesn't mean I can't build anything. So, 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 so. This here is part of my new fleet, right? We're going to build a fleet. It's going to be a fleet from rib up to mothership with all the bits in between. So this is the lifeboat for my mothership. Um, this is basically done. Like we can access pretty much everything inside here. And yeah, like this, this will work if they fix the way that steam works. Today, I think I'm going to build the biggest boat. I'm going to build the biggest ship that will spawn in here. And it needs somewhere the lifeboat needs to be on, on it. So a big old ship. I really want a helipad on the top. Let's make a, a miniature, miniature version. There's my helipad. Then there will be like, I don't know, some stuff. And the, the bridge is probably going to be here. Should I just make like a little RC version of this first? It may require a bulbous bow, which actually would give me a good space for like a, a roll stabilizer. I had been thinking, you know, like I've been building very flat roll stabilizers and perhaps they can be more like a room that you can exist in. Anyway, the bridge will come back and I think there could be space above the bridge for equipment and those like big radar domes. There wouldn't need to be too much of a rear deck area. Um, and then I think it's just like as proportionately long as it needs to be. This is actually quite useful as a, a way to like visualize where you want all your bits and pieces to go. So like we know that this rear section, this is probably like a big roll stabilizer the whole way through with fuel tanks and things then like a floor maybe a whole deck that goes below well hmm i don't know maybe it might mean that this bit has to come up higher something like that and then up here i'm looking at a picture i'll put the picture here's the picture there's like a thing up in the side where the lifeboat is but i don't know if i want my lifeboat to be facing like forwards I think I want it to poke out sideways and then on the opposite side a rib can go in there and then on the back we're just going to have a massive crane except that's too big big old crane on the back so yeah this is the boat this is the boat I want so if you're in the bridge you see this <laughs> that's gonna be crazy <laughs> so I, I guess a helipad is what's gonna determine I need to save this we're gonna call this the mothership so yeah helipad so like whatever that is this will work right I want to have an octagonal helipad and um, the helipad doesn't have to be the helipad could fold ooh the helipad could fold okay wait, wait, wait i'm gonna do the helipad last because i can make it fold and do all sorts of crazy stuff so a bridge bridge first there are some things to consider with the bridge for instance that we have crap windows and to make it seal we have to do some shenanigans so that basically except I really wish we had like a three by four straight window like why do we have this window but not a straight version of that um and i do also really like using this wedge uh how did it do it it was like that wasn't it or yeah no it was like that so that's fine you can get it a bit taller if you drop some things down 
like yeah if that is a window through there I can make it taller I think that's the kind of size of bridge I want maybe maybe a bit longer at the back it doesn't have to be very big, right? That's the thing. What I'm gonna do is probably have like a seat somewhere. I think maybe the window needs to be a bit taller, but I'll have like a driver's position. Maybe a lot of cameras or something. And this is likely to be the kind of ship that you plot a course and leave it. And like, I might change all this as well. The windows that are on the ship I'm looking at, they look like they angle forwards, which I kind of want to do, but this is the general shape anyway. And I guess there'll be like a big deck space out here, which won't change regardless of which window shape I pick. Let's do two variations then, let's just build this out. All right, so here's one style. This is probably the correct width for the ship. It does look like it kind of slopes down on the sides a little bit. So let's take this and make it more angular. I got a bit carried away here, but what do you think, right? So the bottom one's all flat windows. Looks really kind of boring and old, maybe like an, you know, just like an older boat, older style. The top one looks very aggressive, uh, but I'm having trouble connecting the windows without doing this kind of silly triangle shenanigans. I feel like the top one's the one that's worth pursuing and maybe it just has to do some kind of not so aggressive angles in some places or I have to put in some block walls or something. I think even with this, like if you give this one an extra width, make it a bit thicker so it's like that thickness because that's where there's this pyramid part. I don't know, even that seems to be quite nice to sort of separate where the windows are. A little bit confusing actually. I think <laughs> I think I need another another option. It is 100% just the corners. I just can't get the corners. There's just not enough window options. That's all it is. But I like this. I like this. And maybe it could even be a bit longer. Okay, we just got to remember what this bridge is for. This isn't like a sitting in your seat, driving the boat kind of bridge. This is looking out for things, plot the course, and then you're kind of just watching out. You probably don't even need to be up here for the game. Like in real life, you'd probably have someone on watch. In Stormworks, doesn't matter. It's going to be out in the open ocean anyway. Like what are you going to hit? You're going to hit the Meg if you're going to hit anything. I just need a way to fill in this window, this corner. I can use one of these, but what's weird is like, you can flip windows around and I like doing this where it's actually on the outside. So everything's like back to front, but with triangles, they only go one way. And there is the like inverted triangle, but they only come in ones and twos. Honestly, it's just laziness, isn't it? Like, if they if they really wanted to do something about Windows, they would just add Thales mod. They would just include it with the base game. That's probably the best solution I've got right now. Just triangle it up and hope you never really have to look out there. So that's my bridge. <laughs> it's pretty rough. So, like... From here, we're going to go down and there doesn't need to be any kind of windowsill area out here, but I need to 
be cautious about this where my like window frames are that's probably not not a bad solution i don't mind that and then if i do another level of one that drops the walkway exterior down because you want to make sure you've got the the height through here so this is like seven already i think yeah that's eight so in here what have we got five six seven this is seven eight nine ten so it's like where do i start the rail do i just do it there and i'll just do it there i have no reason not to put it there at the moment so if you're like walking around out here you should be kind of covered under the bridge uh, under the windowsill and if you're inside you should be able to see out pretty easily without any uh, anything blocking your view it'll be a bit interesting when we come into here because it looks like in the picture the rail is actually angled out which would be really cool should i xml that i can't really xml that what will happen is the rail will just go into like a full 45 degree it won't look very nice i think i'm just going to bring the front of the like outside deck into whatever like position lines up best with where the rail on the side goes to because i've got these spaced out so that it meets up with the like window pillar and then all of this can just be open so what is this one one two three four five six seven eight that's nine so i think i'll come across nine more and then we'll hit the angle and then this will probably go across like seven or eight because visually like seven looks about the same length as nine when it's going on a diagonal uh, and then the only other thing will be like trying to get it to match up where it is nine across between here that's nine yeah it's a bit what do we need we need an extra two blocks somewhere oh that looks okay if i spawn it in uh i better put it on the ground and then spawn it in so like can i walk around here yeah that's pretty good it's pretty good and so i did this block at the bottom because if i want to do any kind of vents ports anything like that for air to come in and out or just to like dump water then it's got a spot the whole way around the deck where i can just decorate and mix in some functionality stuff and so the cool thing about this ship is it looks like it goes on some kind of angle down like that first it actually looks like it starts directly below the rail and i might use just a 45 like a one by one wedge i want to make sure you can see the angle but that does look a bit crazy it's going to go down and then it's got to suddenly come forwards with the one by four so that's the front of the boat so the helipad is like half on top of the bridge and then i guess it hangs over the front so depending on how big the helipad is it's going to sort of determine how far forwards the boat is or how how long the nose is it's a pretty gnarly front i think there's like a big cutout in here as well you can probably like exit out onto here so i wouldn't be surprised if there is a block there and then a door somewhere along here does that need to be recessed would it look nicer recessed if i'm going for the biggest boat then i might try and get away with spaceship doors so the point of this area i think is just access to the like support structure for the helipad which i don't know that looks kind of neat and then maybe it's got a little ah oh, that was weird but yeah something like that and then i can have two big beams coming up on the front there 
There's no other reason you would need to come out this way. It looks like on the sides it comes down on a sort of a 1x2. That kind of slope. And that's starting to bring us out to sort of the edge, which is good. That's the kind of proportion we're looking for. And so we know that we need uh, like, how tall is this room gonna be? This is a four tall window. So if we go one, two, three, is that, that's four. We should probably lift the floor up another block. I'll leave all that open so I can put stuff in there. But basically if you're walking around, you should be quite high. Like, let's have a look. The roof will be a lot higher. Like the ceiling will be a lot higher. So here you've got good visibility down. Nothing's really blocked. Yeah, I think that's good. And the reason I want to know about that now is because I've somehow got to put in these wedges or a wedge, you know, I've got to do something about this. Uh, hmm, hmm. That is the wedge I want. It's just not gonna line up unless I bring the edges in by like one. And then what, this has to come in as well because I don't think there's any way to like merge this side into that side. This one by four side into the one by two in the opposite direction. I can definitely do like a two by two pyramid. No. I think it'd have to curve off at the top. So get rid of all this. I can XML this, right? It's not too big a deal to XML this part of the boat. I think it's gonna work better if I do get rid of that. So I'm shrinking the walkway side. And I'm just gonna cut this. Cut this, shift it in one and probably, I can't bring it forwards. Oh no, that screws up everything about my rails. Damn you, I'm not doing that. The trick here would be to like, put something up in this section that can hide whatever I'm doing. There is um, this kind of like window, like cut out. And so there's a, a walking space below here. And that is potentially going to let me, let's see, do something like this where it's like the one by two is coming in I don't know, man, this is a bit weird. Kind of feel like this whole section should be a one by two or a, a, a four by two angle. This one. And then does that mean I just go to a two by two at the top? Oh, it does. What? Uh, but they've still got some overhang. You'd never notice this, would you? <laughs> it's a bit cheeky. And then it kind of wants to come down and meet up with this edge here somewhere, which uh, is probably not a happening thing. I mean, this, this bit here is going down vertically. That's fine. And then from here, it would all need to be XML. Unless I just do, you know, bring it down, slap a wall through here, and just say, that's how it is. That's how it came from the factory. Brought it this way. Uh, I really would like it to be nicer than that. There's also the fact that it kind of like starts to taper in. It's got quite a pointy nose. So yeah, if you imagine it coming in like that, but also going down. What? How do you do that? Let's just keep carry on. Just carry on. So this is like a, a walking space. 
and then on top of the bridge it looks like there's a lot of walking around area above here but basically you need to go up eight to make sure we've got enough space to stand in here so that's eight so yeah the ceiling can just be directly on top like that see usually i would build my like bow shape first so maybe i should at least try and get that in probably only uh, i'll start out real far but it would be like five across i think do a couple of ones a couple of twos one two three one two three i don't think it's gonna work like that here got seven maybe we do a two 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 one 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 no nah, that's not pointy enough we need to start with ones right we need to go five one 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 two three Six, seven, eight. We've got nine ones. That's probably too many. So if I go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then start doing twos. I don't think there's going to be any fours here. Maybe at the very end, there's like one four or something. Seven ones, whole bunch of twos. And then maybe this last one is a four. But now the front's very like flat. Yeah, that's better. I need to merge these together. So basically the front of the ship is gonna be like that. See how that works? It goes forwards and then it drops down. I could just make it really square. Like, it doesn't have to be all pointy. Not until it starts curving down anyway. And this actually looks pretty cool. What if I, uh, what if I just get rid of this? I think I'll um, bring this down, let's say four. And then we start to wedge back, which I think will be one by twos. Oh yeah. So I'm like max height at the moment, but that's probably not where it's actually gonna be. And then it looks like I'll come down and then go into a one by four. And then I'll have the bulbous bow thing. That's okay. And then the bottom will just run along here this is where the lifeboat goes let me like cut the lifeboat in what i'm actually going to do is like cut a silhouette of this okay here's my lifeboat so what i want is for the deck of the lifeboat or the hatch to be kind of somewhere near actually this is so much bigger <laughs> I need to think about how I'm going to do this for Stormworks scale because it's likely that I'm just going to have to send it across the whole back. The whole rear section is going to be where the lifeboat goes. It'd be really nice if it were on the side though. If I could, if I could drop it down to this, put it on the side, and then just reserve that space for the lifeboat. And then we grab this height here, I think, and bring it right across. Because what this lets me do is have a lifeboat on one side and a rib on the other side. And then, I mean, the picture I'm looking at, it looks like this deck comes all the way back across here and then has a kind of like a wedge that comes down and meets up with this section, which makes sense. It all lines up but now like the actual walking space the usable space on the back of the ship is just gone this would come down and then yeah this is all i've got left i don't want to build a boat that doesn't fit in the build zone because then it's not workshop friendly but i want to have the maximum amount of deck space so that on rescue missions, you can just pick up things and chuck them in the back. 
which means I think the lifeboat should be spun around. Maybe it needs to be some kind of like a Thunderbirds kind of crap where it's like a thing inside a thing. What if I just said, there's the lifeboat, but it's in the front here like this. And then like the side pops open and it comes out. <laughs> that might be the way to do it. Because I think I want to take this angle and put it back around here. Maybe even closer. Bring that down, bring this across. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I goofed. I've goofed. This is kind of, kind of what I want, right? That looks kind of the same. <laughs> Let's just wall it all up and then I'll have a much better idea of like what the profile is going to be. I really like my small version a lot better. <laughs> One thing, if the deck on the back needs to become longer, I can definitely pivot that. I can hinge it. There's, it's so small and like it's so short, this gap here, right? There's really no problem with chucking a hinge or even it would be a couple of hinges like this and then going all the way back in this direction, going down the depth of the boat, bringing it all the way back out. Because there's nothing on the back here, it's all just, it's all just more deck space. The only thing I have to consider with this is if I'm putting tracks on there that run the whole way to the back, then I won't be able to run the system the whole way back. In which case, the front might be able to hinge, as in cut it through here. But there's options is what I'm getting at. Like that's, there's nothing really stopping me from sorting that out. So I think like this bit can come back more, which might even allow me to put the lifeboat in here somewhere. If we look at my little model boat, we can see that it comes back and then pokes up near the back of this thing. So I guess there should be like doors somewhere. Probably a door on each side maybe. That would make sense, right? If you had a door. Is that good? That's kind of not good. I think the stairs need to go back more. Got a door on each side. We've got an enclosed like segmented thing it's like a way what am i trying to say it's uh i'm not going to interrupt any walkways along the side no no one walking along the side is going to have a door suddenly open in their face do another nine chuck another rail it'd be nice if that was in the middle to be honest i should probably put a rail that goes around the back shouldn't i Oh, the bit where it like pokes up is actually only only facing forwards. When it comes onto the side, it should be flat. Ah. <laughs> mm, how much does that ruin? Probably not a whole bunch. It's probably fine. It might make it easier actually for this because now I can end this piece. Uh, uh, this one? Yeah, see, now I can just flatten. Okay, that, that might actually make things a lot easier. Get rid of all this. Make it flat. And then I think how it flares down, like how it starts to come out is probably okay. Dunno. Dunno. Don't want to know about it right now. So what I'm thinking back here though is like, do I just copy this shape or do I put more windows in? I don't know if I need more windows. It'd be really cool if you had to like helicopter in the helipad so you have to attach it with hard points for it to work in the first place. 
I think there's still space for a helipad to be put up there. I could actually use this space as like a storage area maybe. Like a little cupboard or something. So maybe I should make it like seven wide or something and then run a wall across the back here and say this is the back of the bridge. And then if we go and buy my little model here, we need to sweep it up somehow. Do I need windows in the back? Don't know. I'll figure that out later. And then the rail goes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And something here we curve in the back or something and then it's gonna be exposed on the back. So if I take the same segment here, spin it around, then that keeps everything symmetrical. Better move this out of the way. Oh no, I, I left some of it behind. It's pretty big, isn't it? But I mean, it could be bigger. We could easily make it bigger. I'm trying to think like how I can get extended rails along the back. So I want to put a moving crane along the back. But I know that if I fold the back out then I'm not going to be able to run the tracks as one piece. What would be really funny because let's say the uh, deck starts here. This is like the final wall. If I ran tracks all the way back to here and then when it opens the tracks slide all the way to here to the back of this wall then another deck folds off the back to extend the length and then it all like hard points together and then the crane can move along the tracks because i think the crane can move or it's just a massive crane and doesn't need to move at all Man, it'd be cool if we had inverted pyramids. If you've ever played Avorion, they've got so many pyramids. They've got all the different variations of shape that you would ever need. We need some of that. So, I guess because I'm starting up high, I need to build all my floors out from the top section, right? So it's going to be like... I don't think there's going to be any need for stuff like pipes in between floors so I can just go 8 from here and then that's uh, another floor another 8 another floor my goal here is just to figure out where the deck the outer deck will be Oh yeah, that actually lines up pretty well. And then this should be eight as well. Hey, look at that. So this bottom section I want to use as the roll stabilizer. And it's just going to be a massive room. And there's going to be a massive pipe. Like, it'll look like a big tube. Big old chibi tube. And just be filled with barrels. And it'll just go the whole length and go side to side the whole way and I was thinking it'd be cool if there was like a segment in it where do you think like oh the person's three blocks high or whatever or maybe it goes up higher but it would uh, wedge off like this in between every segment it'd be like that and so the player can walk in between like all these different segments of that and there'll be tracks all the way through so you won't get crushed by the the weight as it's moving back and forwards the whole way down the ship and then that might mean that i can use some of that space for other stuff like fuel tanks and have everything all like accessible for repairs and all that sort of stuff i've also got to consider the engine room which i did not think about until right now 
See, this even seems like it's too, too low. One, two, three, four. It's a big boat. It's an unnecessarily big boat. It would make more sense if I'd lose a floor somewhere. Like if I just cut a floor out, I think it would make way more sense. So the reason I flattened off the back is because that's not the back. <laughs> I don't know how to get it to open right now because it's so weak. Well, there's, there's the boat. See, it, it might be kind of cool to make a miniature version that is just like one person and you sit inside and it looks like a little remote control boat. But I can, I can definitely get away with flipping the deck down. So if I do want to make it long, and still have it spawn within the zone, that's totally fine. Because now that the back's longer, it looks like it's more in proportion. It doesn't even need to be that long. This looks good, right? This looks good. I'm okay with this. Bend all this stuff around, put a helipad on there. So the helipad would come right out over the front. And then the deck probably only needs to be half this length. And pop a big crane on there. And I mean, if the crane only came back to here and then the back half was cut down the middle here, so it's only half as long, you should still be able to hinge it all the way off the end for picking up stuff. Let's do a walk. Whoop. What's it like to walk around here? I think this is good with the stairs being pushed in a little bit. Maybe you need some windows in the back. But visibility is real good because what's going to happen is likely likely that the captain will sit somewhere and just have displays yeah and then you you'll just be able to go and walk around could actually make it remote control so if you like connect your remote control you just come outside and then drive it off one of these corners and maybe these should even hang out over the edge it doesn't look like they hang out over the edge in the picture i was looking at though but I know that's kind of what those are for, is to get you really close to the edge. Or to, to get you to look out over the side of the boat. I kind of messed it up with the back here. I don't really know how to do a stern, so yeah, this happened. Let's just build this boat. Even if it's too big, even if it turns out not being quite what I wanted, I will finish this boat, probably. It needs an engine room somewhere, so that'll go probably in the middle. We'll try and keep, uh, we'll probably try and keep the mass somewhere in the middle section. We'll do steam power when steam power gets fixed. And yeah. Let me know what I should change. Cause uh, yeah, it was like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and trying to smush a whole bunch of ideas together so if there's any little bits you think i should change i'm open to suggestion thanks for watching we'll carry on with this tomorrow and i'll see you then